the latest crop of MacBooks and Apple Silicon has really opened up a new conversation with people um, related to power consumption and energy efficiency. This is something, of course, that folks care about. Folks that run businesses, folks that run server farms, huge server farms like Azure AWS, regional farms and like multiple server farms. Anyway, they have a lot, millions and millions of servers. They cared. It's gonna save them a ton of money if they switch to ARM. But did people really care about that? I didn't really care, I will admit this. I, you know, if I'm sitting at home, I'll plug in my machine and I don't know how much power it consumes. It's only recently that I got the power meter and started looking at that. And when I traveled with laptops before, I just kind of accepted the fact that it's gonna die in two hours. Well, I think Apple has really taken this to the mainstream and made us more aware, made me more aware about energy consumption from my machines. A couple of days ago, I asked about this on a poll here on YouTube, and I said, do you care about power consumption on your personal computer? If yes, please leave a comment as to why. And I think that this has been the most passionate set of responses that I've ever seen from any of my polls before. Besides the people that are voting for Schwarzenegger, that's only 8%. The rest of you actually care one way or another which I found pretty fascinating. Now, leaving laptops aside, because clearly with laptops, when you're traveling, you really want a more efficient machine so it lasts longer. It's on batteries. What about desktops? And that's kind of what I had in mind when I asked this question. Based on your responses, it really depends where you live, whether you're a globally conscious person or not, but that's not really a um, tangible kind of thing, right? It's not something you can measure or prove. And then there's the side effects of having a less energy efficient chip inside your machine. One side effect is heat. A side effect of heat is less performance because then your CPU will throttle, giving you less performance. Another side effect of heat is going to be the fans are gonna be spinning. And a side effect of fan spinning is more noise in your environment. What if you're a musician and you record music? What if you're in a small room or an echoey room? What if you have uh, neighbors? What if you have several machines in an office that are all next to each other? Imagine how much noise it's going to cause when you have software developers, for example, sitting in a row, <laughs> a row of cubicles, and they all have to listen to a whiny set of fans all day long. Yeah, there's lots of complaints and reasons why you'd want a more energy efficient machine, but definitely there is a measurable one, and that depends on how much electricity costs where you are. For example, where I live is going to cost me $200 less to operate a Mac studio at home, even if I had it on 24 seven, then uh, for example, that Alienware Intel 12,900KF machine that I'm testing currently. $200 may not sound like much, but over a couple of years, that adds up. What if you live in Hawaii, which is the most expensive state for electricity in the United States? Well, I calculated that out to be about $300. But people in some parts of Europe are paying way more than United States for electricity. Here's Gert Op de Beck, who cares about power consumption for several reasons. Electricity bills in Europe are going up like crazy. So this is kind of a new thing, but it's a constantly happening thing. And if you're gonna be working at home, if you're paying for your own electricity, if you're a small business owner, like a lot of us consultants and freelancers are, then this is coming out of your pocket directly. And this is all gonna end up at the end of the year. Now look, I'm not like a tree hugging expert here. I'm not gonna go out and save trees. I'm probably not gonna stop using a desktop machine when there's a laptop available that may save me money. I'm gonna use the power that's available to me, but I wanna be conscious about and I wanna be aware about what's going on. And also, I do recording and music, so this really affects me personally. Here's Mark Menard, he's a small business owner. He's considering moving all his machines to ARM for power reasons, and that's totally understandable, especially because he's got a, a small server farm. By the way, I don't know if Mark has a small business or not, or what he's doing with that server farm. Maybe he's got a server farm creating cryptocurrency, mining cryptocurrency, I don't know. Colin says he's got poor insulation in the house and in the summer months when your PC is putting out some extra two to five degrees and it's 25 to 30 degrees Celsius outside already, yeah, that's gonna make a big difference. And I know because I'm in a similar situation, I'm in a small room. Now granted, I have a few more things turned on than just a machine. Okay, maybe I have a lot more things turned on than just a machine. So this room gets pretty toasty. Sometimes I have to crack a window open, even in the spring or the fall. But in the summertime, for sure, that air conditioner is running a little bit extra. Dean is from Australia. He says that they still use 
a lot of coal power for electricity generation so he feels bad about uh, spitting all that extra smoke or whatever coal produces into the air david over here says higher power consumption for one to a few pcs won't force me to change my eating habits but i don't like being wasteful nice reference to uh folks that are considering the meat industry in this country as well and how much energy is wasted with that i eat meat by the way but i've been eating less and less of it if higher power consumption comes with similar increase in processing power that's one thing but if a system uses more energy and is less than or equal to the performance of another system, that's bad. So I think uh, maybe he's seen some of my videos where I'm comparing the Intel beast of a machine to the new Mac Studio where, yeah, maybe the Mac Studio is not as fast. Maybe it's like 10% or 15% slower in certain cases, not in all cases. In some cases, it's faster at building some code. But considering the energy spent on the Mac Studio where we're hovering around what is it 10 watts right now and it's on i have a few applications running okay maybe i have the terminal and chrome open nothing else but 10 watts compared to the desktop that will be consuming 50 to 60 watts right now just sitting there and addy says when you work 24 hours and pay your electricity bill yourself it becomes a concern you need to address and i think that hits it on the nose once people start getting hit in their wallets that's when people are gonna start caring more. Just in case you missed it, 52% said yes, they care, and 40% said no, they don't care. So more people care according to this poll, and we got 2.2 uh, thousand votes so far. More people care than not care. Even if you add the no's with the Schwarzeneggers, that's still 48%. So we'll see how this poll progresses. Anyway, it's been interesting. I didn't expect such a dramatic response to this, so Thanks folks, really interesting to see what y'all think about this. And I'm also kind of glad that Apple is shining a little bit more of a light on this uh, with their new chips for the consumer market. All right folks, just uh, some thoughts today. I'll see you next time. Consider subscribing to the channel and have a good one.